Hello. I am Professor Pomfrey, and I work with Dr. Heidi Singleton, Senior Lecturer of Children and Young People's Nursing, at Bournemouth University. I am excited to share research we have been conducting around non-pharmacological interventions for eczema to distract children from itch. The problem and why it is important. 20% of children and 10% of adults in the world have eczema. So that gives you an idea of the scale of the condition. But it does not convey the impact on the quality of life that children with eczema experience. I am going to tell you a story now about Elsa aged eight. Elsa was just seven months old when a minor case of eczema grew into a rash that covered her entire body. Several skin infections broke out that would turn Elsa's skin red raw, including one serious case that required hospitalization and antibiotics through a drip. Mum and Dad were dragged into an unrelenting routine of moisturizing Elsa's skin and wrapping her in special bandages to keep the treatments on and stop her from scratching. The parents who both work in healthcare spent 60 minutes in the morning and 90 minutes at night applying the moisturizer and gels Elsa needed. On top of the stress was the concern about what the eczema was doing to Elsa. When the skin infections forced her into hospital, she was given antibiotics directly into her bloodstream. Mum said, I hadn't realized how intense that regime of moisturizing could be. The doctors give you the creams and the steroids, but Elsa still scratches all the time, especially at night. It really affects her sleep and her mood. As Elsa's story has shown, eczema can have consequences for the entire household. The itch scratch cycle is a key consideration when treating a patient with eczema. The automatic scratching response that arises from an itch dislodges anything harmful lurking on our skin. This reflexive response to toxins and their delivery vectors is obviously advantageous to survival. When the skin is stimulated by an irritant, a signal fires to the other end of the nerve cell and triggers the release of these molecules, which leap across the synapse to their adjacent nerve cell, and the signal transmits up the spinal cord to the brain. Processed by the brain, it generates a scratching or rubbing reflex response. The itch is the on switch, and the scratch is the off switch. Except that the itch pathway is glitchy, easily hijacked, and slightly more complicated. Just think about itching, and you will start itching. Itching is one of the most miserable torments known to our species. The psychosomatic approach to breaking the itch scratch cycle considers coping behaviors and stress as causal for chronic itch. Behavioral therapy should also be considered, whereby the scratch reflex is suppressed with intense concentration, habit reversal, or distraction. Although there is currently no cure, various interventions exist to control symptoms of eczema. These interventions tend to target rehydration of the skin, reduction in inflammation, control of itch, and prevention and treatment of infection. However, concerns around steroid withdrawal have been raised amongst some patients, and there is a call for alternative methods to manage eczema symptoms. What may be possible? The promise of technology. Mindfulness, relaxation, and guided imagery techniques have been used to distract children from the scratch itch cycle. Virtual reality, VR, is an immersive approach towards refocusing attention and consequently reducing stress. Our early work involved co-creating and evaluating prototypes for immersive and non-immersive VR software designed to distract children from their scratching. Children access the VR software using a fully immersive Oculus Quest 2 headset. Children felt their skin was less affected both during and after playing the VR chill-out games relative to pre-play. Technical challenges to resolve included the fact that wearing the Oculus Quest headset is very tight and becomes very hot. That gave us the idea of creating eczema igloo. Eczema igloo does not touch the wearer's face. It still permits user interaction through eye tracking and using handheld controllers. We evaluated the igloo with children and their parents. Six parents completed observations of their child using the eczema igloo. Six children completed a usability questionnaire and the Children's Dermatology Quality of Life Index questionnaire. 41 online parental questionnaires ascertained acceptability of gaming to reduce scratching. Children found the eczema igloo enjoyable, peaceful, calming, and relaxing. 
all parents found computer games an acceptable method to reduce child scratching, particularly during evenings. The final message is that the study highlighted the negative impact of eczema on child and family quality of life and the need for distraction interventions. I am an artificial intelligent professor bot created by David Hunt to present on behalf of Heidi and her team. Thank you for listening to our presentation today.